Hey everybody, welcome back to Vegas Tips and Tricks number 87. It's the Wednesday show and last week we kind of wrapped up our tour of Strip and downtown area resorts uh, with, you know, we kind of fudged it a little bit with the Westgate. And we will be doing some off-strip stuff over the next few weeks uh, to kind of wrap up this series. But today I wanted to talk about uh, some downtown alternatives that I think might be worth considering for some of you. Now, a lot of you know that the downtown area, particularly Fremont Street, has had a lot of sort of, shall we say, seedy motels and hotels over the years. Uh, some of them are still there. Um, I know a number of us have always kind of wondered what the Bridger Inn would be like. Uh, it's right there on Main Street, but from everything I've read, it's probably not a good idea to check it out. But there are a couple of properties which I could recommend maybe with some reservations but uh, uh, if you just cannot find anything on Fremont Street and you want to be downtown the first of those is the gold spike now the gold spike used to be kind of famous or infamous as this sort of dodgy very very low rent casino uh, way back in the 90s when you still had to put the actual pennies in the machine they had a whole bank of penny machines there so uh, it used to attract a very interesting crowd uh, not quite as interesting as the old western hotel maybe we'll talk about that one someday um, but when it eventually got sold off to the current ownership group, apparently they did not actually have any kind of a casino license. They more or less gutted the casino and turned it into kind of just a hangout space. There's a bar there. Uh, if you go out into the courtyard area, there's a lot of sort of adult games. And I don't mean like that kind of adult games. I mean, you could like literally play hopscotch or like a big Jenga, that kind of thing. Um, the original towers are there. Uh, the rooms here I have heard mixed reviews on. Some of you may remember the fact that the uh, second real world Las Vegas was filmed here. So I'm assuming you could rent that room or that suite uh, there as well. Um, the pool, there is a pool. It's okay, I guess. Uh, but I've heard mixed reviews. This probably wouldn't be my first choice, but if you can't find anything else, maybe the gold spike. Also, sometimes the rooms go under the Oasis Hotel. Another one um, way down by El Cortez is called the Downtowner. I stayed there once, wow, almost 30 years ago for at least a few hours. It was kind of a sketchy place, but they have done some remodeling. I've heard of people staying here. My friend Steph has stayed here a couple of times. Apparently, it's fairly nice. There's a little putt-putt golf thing. Uh, I think there's like a, you know, a little uh, casino or you know, bar there. And it's reasonably close to the action. So again, if that's your only option, you might want to take a look at it if you just have to be downtown. Otherwise, I really wouldn't mess with any of the hotels or motels that you see listed in or around Fremont Street because they're probably going to be a little bit rough. All right, we'll be back on Saturday with our special Final Cut Pro edition. I think we might do our final Vegas Memories series for 2023. I'm not sure about that yet. We'll be back next week with Vegas Tips and Tricks number 88, where we'll talk about some other alternative lodging, this time on the Strip. Till then, I hope you have a great, lucky, and healthy week. We'll see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.